So we finished this white oak order. We got it stacked and ready to go. And we got a bunch of pieces that that came from the outside of the log. And we want to get that in the kiln. And I told my boys, now whether this is right or not, but it, and it'll take a, a year or so probably, but that I could make more money off the, the waste that we, or the, the outside stuff, than what I sold to the guy uh, for the inside boys. And we'll see about that, but um, I plan on making some furniture with it. But I'm gonna show y'all how we load this kiln and what, it, what this kiln looks like. So here's the kiln we actually have here uh, that we're going to use to put this this white oak in that we had from the waste on the other. But uh, so this thing consists of three fans. I think only two of them actually work. But um, we got a baffle, a baffle that we use here that uh, is like a heat collector that warms it up. We got two tarps on the edges that we use to to uh, make sure the wind goes through the through the wood. We have a dehumidifier that we use when the when the uh, the wood the moisture content gets gets really low or starts to get low. Um, we have four vents that we have on on the top of the kiln, and then we have four vents on the bottom in the doors, and of course we have the the clear plexiglass you can get from Lowe's on the front. So we're gonna load this thing up and, and let y'all see kind of how we load it and how it how we run this kiln. <laughs> Like in 2023, so he'd still have one more. Huh? They may be right. He may be right. I hope that's not the case. Does he like this time better? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like I like this time, but in hunting season, I don't know. Yeah. And then we'll be done it. Do you need me for anything? Uh, if you want to load these, you can. That's a pretty good live in slab there. Good. That's a pretty good live edge slab there. I don't know if we can make something out of this, but I think a lot of people do like these right now. I got two pieces of wood that I have to weigh. I'm gonna put this one in the oven and dry it out. And I'll put this in the kiln. And that's how I'll know what my moisture content is until it gets to the level where a moisture meter will read it. My moisture reader won't read it above like 20%. But So you weigh both of them, you put one of them in the kiln and you dry it and uh, 
you test the one that you've put in the oven. When it gets to four percent, that's when you weigh it, and then when when your once you put in the kiln it gets to the weight of the one that's, or when you can ratio to the weight of the one that's uh, been in the oven, then you'll know it's down to four percent. So now we're gonna put that baffle up. You can see what we got here. We try to make it as, you know, as airtight as you can. We obviously got a few gaps in here, but uh, you want the air to blow through the other side and come through these these slats right here. That's the goal. This thing seems to work pretty good. Um, we'll get it hooked up and show y'all how it runs. So my middle fan is not working, but I got my two outside fans on low and it'll be enough to to do what we need to do um so i don't want them on full blast right now i don't want to dry it out too quick because it'll cause cracking and uh causing the warp and stuff like that but um i want to turn this dehumidifier off for now i don't want to use it uh so we got this tool here that that we use to tell us the temperature. And you can see that this thing has been to 171 before. So it gets pretty hot in this kiln, but uh, right now it's saying it's 62 degrees, 98% humidity. Uh, the log is 1600, so I need to reset this thing. I don't know how to reset it. I think I have to hook it up to the computer to reset it, but. Uh, anyway, if you wanted to track it and, and see where your moisture con content is by the day, which we'll do, but uh, it'll keep up with if you want to download it to your computer or whatever you want to do. But so I, I, I usually just come out here and look at it. But uh, so that thing works pretty good. I don't know if you saw the front of it. Um, you know, it's it's facing south. It has to be facing south, and then we got these these little uh, corrugated plastic here we bought it from home depot or lowe's and it's it's, it's insulated and we put in the the back the one thing i didn't point out but the inside is painted black and really the outside could be painted painted black too but i'm not sure if my wife would want a big black thing sitting out in our yard but uh, i'm gonna build a few more of these down where it's not noticeable and i will paint them black but Anyway, this is kind of just how it works. It does pretty good. Uh, and we'll see in a few months if I can, how long it takes to dry, but it, it'll take a few months to get it dry. So we're not really in any, in any big hurry. So we, you know, we'll keep the vents kind of open on top and on the bottom, just let it get as much airflow as it needs. Um, we don't want it to get too hot too quick, but. If it takes us two or three months to dry, we're not really too concerned with that, but um, we're not really getting a lot of hot days right now. So when we get to where we can get it below around 20%, we'll start closing off some vents and get it, trying to get it up hot as we can um, just to get it, to get down to that bottom percent, you need some more heat. But anyway, for now, it's probably we'll probably just put on our calendar to check it in a month and like I said, we're not in a really big hurry to get it done, but uh, really on, on lumber, the slower the better. I had a guy that made rocking chairs, and he he told me that he didn't even he didn't like kiln dried lumber because it it moves too much. So the slower you can do it, the better. Uh, really, ideally for woodworkers, air dried to if you can air dry it to 15, 20 percent, and then have it put in a uh, solar kiln. That's that's the ideal. Uh, 
that's the ideal uh, method. And then once you get it to where you want it in the solar kill, maybe put it in the kiln just to kill the bugs and stuff. But that'd be the ideal woodworking type wood is to to not put it in a kiln right off the bat and just you know blast it for a month because it kind of messes the wood up. Uh, he said actually that it it does something on the inside of the wood when he's cutting it. He can see like the, the wood damage on the inside when it's dried in a kiln and when it's dried too fast. All right, guys, that's all we have for today. Um, if you like the content, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll try to bring you some more of this in the future.